Hey guys, welcome back to the finale of Until Dawn. Let's finish it. Let's do. <laughs> What's that feet? What's that pain doing? Oh, dang it, on this water. Oh, you're turning me on. Way up to a neck. You may want to go faster, Sam. Sam, take my engine! Oh, it's mate. Mike. Oh, gosh. You look terrible. Not an nice attempt to see you. It'll look worse if we stay out here. Good come back. Oh, yeah, smash the window. I don't tear. Just do. Okay. Is this the best place to be, though? Because they're only just turn here. Told him though. Not good. What do you think we should do? We should check the basement. Why the I basement? Think down there. The basement's like the worst place to be. I know my horror films. That's the worst place to be. But we're done down there anyway. It's a shame that this game's ending. I really like this game. I, mean, I know my viewers like this game. How do you rate our chances of survival? Hmm? I'm trying not to think about it. I think we'll do well. I know we lost Matt. Go, go, go! <laughs> Emily, bitch, what the fuck? I said, what the fuck is wrong? This is an extra five minutes. Don't move. Holy shit. Yeah. Don't move. I'm Don't not. Fucking move. It must be.
Oh, oh, I've got like, the longest amount of time ever. Is that the Billy Babes one? In Hannah? Oh, Hannah's the top. What did it hit? I heard some gas. Oh, that's how it's like blow up. Oh, okay. Can we do it though? Without getting anyone else killed. Right, I need to try and protect my. Oh, 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 that's a good scene. Let's just see, that's good. Uh, save mate. Hey! Emily Doe. Right, two C, that's good. Run. Hey. Nice. It's just be mate left. Lower fibrates and it doesn't help uh, when that happens. Hey, I want to save mate. Mate, you need to run. Oh, that face! But don't slow me down. So we saved Ashley, Emily, Cliss, Mike, and Sam. Right? And maybe George. The main structure is completely destroyed. Over. Hold on. I'm seeing something. It Just looks Matt. like there are survivors. Damn it. We didn't save Matt. Let's pick him up. Oh. I'm so pissed at that. I don't know if it's been right. Four Daughters of Darkness. Don't stare Jessica to death. Oh, and Jessica! I forgot about her. I saved her. Right, so Beth and Hannah. Matt. For some reason. Uh, the old man, I, uh. I, I don't know how to describe him. I mean. You said he thought he was stalking you at first. Just police interviews? Does anyone else in your group think that? Well, yeah. <laughs> Is it possible they could have killed him? What? No. No, you, you, you don't understand. Don't you understand? And if he attacked you, he 
he saved my life. And I watched him die. Oh, Tess believes himself. I heard Jessica. I don't know how or why she was down there, but I know I heard her. He held it right up to my face. Right here, right in front of my oh, nose. Oh my god, Emily. Me. He almost shot me, the prick. You're better you than that. You go out with a guy for however long and you think you know him, but man, this one really takes the cake. How did you end up in the mines? I was carried and taken and... Oh, she's what did you done see? in. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. He's out of his fucking mind. He wanted to hurt yeah, us. Yeah, mate survived. Okay. And I thought he was the one who attacked Jess. I thought we were close. After his sisters disappeared, he'd come and talk to me. He said I was the only one who understood him. I thought. I thought we had a connection. Oh, she. Does she like if you Josh? Need someone to talk to. I'm fine. Sometimes, after a traumatic experience. I said I'm fine. All right, she's a little bit mad herself. I, but, I, I stabbed him, and I tried to get away, but I didn't know. I swear, I didn't know. Actually, shut up, man. You're well annoying. No. Who did you stab? Oh, I, I, I stabbed the maniac. I didn't know it was Josh, but then he was the psycho. And how was I supposed to know Josh had all the sauce and the gun and all? About Matt, have a have you found him? No, not yet. Oh, oh God, he's dead, isn't he? I'm afraid so, Emily. Why do you say that? Oh no 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 no, he's just. Oh my God, I was such a bitch, and I I you know I maybe could have helped him, maybe I could have saved him. Your friend Ashley, she told us she tried to help you. <sighs> she said she heard you calling out. Not me. Yeah, they mimic. That's why. I they can mimic voices. What do you remember? Oh, shit. He came for me. He did. He sure did. Came for you? Where is he? So did he make it? He made it. You need to listen to me. I don't care if you believe me or not. It doesn't matter because you will. You need to go down to the mines. What's in the mines, Sam? I've seen what's down there. And I'd give anything to unsee it. Me too, Sam. Me too. Is that it? Guys, absolutely amazing. Well, probably the top right for that, though, but I'm going to sip it. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Is Josh a window though now? Oh, he's feeding on the flame through a guy's head. One survivor for me. You said? Oh, fuck. Stay back! Stay back! No, no, no! Stay back! Oh, that's kind of scary, actually. Now, guys, what can I say about this game? Absolutely amazing, 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 amazing. Fantastic characters, fantastic bad guy. The twists, the plot. Everything about it was amazing. I, d I want you to play it. Go out and buy it. It's not that. Uh, expensive anymore. It's really, really, really good game. Recommend you play it. Now, guys, I've got something else and bonus content. It's Meet the Task. Do you want to watch that? Yeah, let's do it. I am Hayden Penetier, and we are here at the studio recording Until Dawn. My name is Rami Malik. My name is Megan Martin. My name is Brett Dalton. My name is Antonella Montini, and I played Hannah and Beth. 
My name is oh, she played both of them. And I play the character Matthew, Matt for short. I'm Nicole Blow, and I play Emily in the game. My name is Noah Fleiss. I am Galadriel Steinman, and I play Ashley. So Until Dawn is the story of eight teenagers who uh, revisit this cabin in the woods about a year later after a, a really traumatic experience where I've lost two of my sisters. So coming, trying to get some closure in that respect. One of the things that Larry does really well is make these multi-layered characters, and I think for just the story in general, it's it follows the quintessential horror film plot lines. But sure does. The characters are so unique in themselves, and I think that's very cool. Yeah, especially uh, sound. It's the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together. The name Ali. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. Sam, Sam and I have uh, a few things in common, such as being huge lovers of animals. So am I, and Sam. She's a huge animal lover. She's vegan. She um, she is a pacifist. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to go as far as saying that I'm a pacifist, but uh, she's spunky and cool. I know that she... I think is is made fun of a little bit by the rest of them mm. who who think that her morals and her beliefs in that area are a little ridiculous and they don't agree with them. But I she actually care. didn't it, see that. It doesn't stop her from being herself. And uh, Dame. That's something that I hope I have in common with her. I thought something that led to Definitely, them all uh, can be depressed. Led them all, should I say? A bit of a loner, but he, he takes some solace in one of his sister's friends, Sam. Yeah, he loved to uh, and uh, invites everybody back to the same house the next year to kind of find some closure. Jessica is oh, she has a whole lot of personality. She was she too. She is definitely the sort of mean girl character that you know at school she she knows she's pretty. She knows that boys like her, and she's going to use it to her advantage. He's got a big heart, you can tell that that's very You died too early for me, I didn't that to that your character. And um, you know, he's, he's kind of a meathead, but in the best way possible. She really knows what she wants and You were interesting to, for me. To get that from whomever it is. You were the now, bitch, like, but you were tweaked. You know, she's really driven and I can definitely relate to that. My my character is uh, Chris. She knows she's the and bitch. He is uh, what society might consider the nerd. Of the group, you were, but um, and and he kind of embraces it. Um, Ashley is she's you a little were really more serious annoying for than me. some of the other girls. Um, she's definitely very intelligent and and thoughtful. She kind of looks at the whole big picture of things. She's not quite as geeky as Chris, but they connect in a lot of ways. Mike is like big guy on campus. You were too. He's uh, the class president who has some charm and has has. Brain and I, I don't know. People seem to like Mike. He gets away with a lot, though. He's he can be kind of kind of jerky. The fact that he, he really just kind of wants everyone to be happy when he wants her. He's he's a people pleaser, and um, it's I can I can definitely attest to being you know that guy. I'm, I'm always the friend that wants everybody to be happy and wants everybody to be taken care of. And, that's definitely Matt. But, uh, but also, like, this character is just so fun. I rarely get to play the bitch. And you so should it do. Really, it was really fun to do that. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. I just think this is just the coolest thing to be a part of. And um, I just think it's going to take the world by storm. I really do. I think this genre is the wave of the future. And I think that yep. um, once people see the potential behind it uh, of getting to interact with the drama that you're witnessing unfold um, in such a realistic way, um, that this this is how entertainment's going to be from now on. Wow, guys! So that was a good insight into what the task thought about all that. Now these ones, I've been looking at them; they don't look very interesting enough for me but if you want to see them let me know but I'll, I'll personally not be looking at them but I'll look at them for you
So guys, for this game, 10 out of 10. Absolutely amazing. Really, really not what I expected. I expected that I think a Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th feel. I remember in 2015 when this game came out, it was really, really big hype in my soul. A lot of people were talking about it, said it was good, that it's choices and that there's that many directions that you can do. I also heard that there's like 900 pages or something of different endings in this game. There's hundreds of endings. Now, if you want me to go through that, I will, but personally I'm just going to move on to another game unless you guys really, really want me to. I think I'm pretty good with the ending I got, even though Matt died, but sometimes can't be helped. Uh, I don't think I could have helped the flame floor die, and that was inedible. So, guys, tell me what you thought about this game and what you think I liked about it. I liked the characters and that. What you liked about it. And remember, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and the whole series. Thanks, guys. Have a good night and stay tuned with me next time. Bye, guys.